this is going to be as quickly as I can possibly make it. I have a background here. Please go all over the internet and learn about the fun things you can do with the Bitmoji Classroom. They are numerous. They are awesome. I'm going to flip myself the other direction because I just can't stand that I am about to toss the ball into the ocean. All right, that makes me feel better. Now I'm going to add a bird to this image. I will search the internet. I've already put in the search. I'm looking for a seagull with a transparent background. Found one. Let's see if I can find him again. I'll drag him into the middle of the screen and shrink him right now. I'm right over my head. Okay, now he's going to fly in. So I'm going to animate. I will have him fly in from the left after previous. Make him go nice and slow. And then add another animation to the same dude. And I'm going to have him out to the right a little faster. And also with previous and play. Watch this one. Hello! And away he goes. <laughs> Nothing to it. All right, let's say I want to make this ball clickable, but I don't want this whole image of me, this whole image field, which is a giant square, clickable. So one more thing, fun to add, fun to add. I'm going to put in the shape of the ball, and I'll cover the ball just a little bit. And I'll turn this shape entirely transparent. Now if I click on that shape, I can link it. There's a link button right here. And I'm just, I have something randomly ready to link, so I'm just going to go with it. And now, when it's in present mode, if you click on that ball, it will take you to the link. And in this case, the link was my own animation. One more thing people have wanted to know is how to add audio. The trick to adding audio is twofold. One, the audio needs to be in your Google Drive first. And two, you need to set the share settings in your Google Drive so it will work. Picked up some sound from the royalty-free music by, by Ben Sound. That's the website, bensound.com. You can find all kinds of just groovy, whatever kind of mood music you want. And then, you click on it and you change the share settings with this guy here. Okay, I'm not actually going to send it to anybody, but I'm going to change the link from restricted to anyone with the link and save. Now when I attach this music, insert audio, it was called tender, tenderness, that works. This is the one. Now I select. It's going to show up as a little image clip. You have some settings over here. I can start playing on the clicker automatically. Change the volume. You can loop the audio. All of these things. Super duper fun. You want to hit icon when presenting? All right, so for full effect, let's check it out. 